Hello and welcome to Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. And this is going to be a quick update video rather than a full uh, video this time because I have um, things to do and this is going to be a bit pressed for time. Right, so update things to get out of the way first of all. Um, live streams will be tomorrow, probably around 3pm, uh, maybe 4. I'll put a quick announcement video type thing up when that happens. There'll also be another one on Monday, um, probably around midday, and another one on Tuesday, probably earlier in the morning, um, as I've got things to do in the afternoon. And in theory, that will get the my section of the chain game done. I've been working partially on it as, as I can, but really it's only been sort of 10 minutes here, 20 minutes here. So I've... Yeah, I've been working on it. There is stuff that is done, but I really need to hammer down and get the rest of it done. So I will do that tomorrow and the next couple of days as required to do so. Um, other update things. You might notice at the end of my videos that I've uploaded recently, I have a small little outro now. Which, um, yes, big thank you for Marijin for some help with that. Um, please subscribe to him if you haven't already done so, because yeah, he... His content is quite good. He has an XCOM LP. It is, it is suitable. He also has quite a lot of tutorial style videos as well, which are worth checking out. So yeah, go do that. Um, other things, um, yeah, partially same sort of thing. I've now got a new channel profile video type thing, which yeah, hurrah. Um, what else? Oh, I've got loads of people over here. Yeah, you'll see. I've sort of now put food and drink things at the end of most of the major rides, or at least the rides which have a lot of people coming off it all at once. And this is to basically try and maximise my profits somewhat. I should really have something there as well. And it's working reasonably well actually, so I've decided to continue doing it. Yes, it's evil, but we'll do it anyway. Evil is fun, citizens, apparently. Uh, let's have a beef noodle store. Which can go there. Open up. Same price for at the park. And... Right, that will do there, I think. Right. Uh, bathroom is still the top thing, really. So... I'll have to find some more strategic places for bathrooms in a bit. In the meantime, what I'm going to be doing this video is building a transport ride. I want to build a monorail system basically covering these four sections of the park um, because I now added this a little bit. I've decided this is going to be a sort of forestry area. I don't know exactly how what I'm going to do within it but once I've done a load of rides in this section it'll still be a bit sparse similar to this one but I'm going to add lots of trees and decorative things and basically turn this into some form of forest. I don't know. We'll make it work somehow. But we need a way to get around the park so that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to build a monorail system. Now, monorails can only have four stations, which is why I'm only doing this to four worlds, essentially. But if I have one there, uh, one there, one there, and one there linked up in a big looping path fashion, it should work reasonably well. So, let us begin at the beginning. And I want to, yeah, if we actually link it up to here, depending on how long I can make the station... That's as long as I can make the station. Okay. We don't want to quite do that. But if I go and... Put that two in there. They're nearly exact. I want to make them all as long as possible. Because I might actually need them to be as long as possible. So, go up. Not ridiculous height. Because it takes them a bit to get up there. Spin that round. Along we go. I think it's a bit of a waste doing it there, actually. But that's one, two, three. Yeah, maybe if I put one here, for example. I don't know. I want to sort of put it on each, next to each of the food sort of areas, if you sort of understand me. So that'll come around the back. I'm actually not 100% sure on this. Why do I always go for... I always 
I don't know what it is. I always build the transport rides last, and I always seem to regret it. Uh, where am I actually put? That's going to be a bit too. Hold up. Ah, uh, tedious. Right. So we extend that on a bit. So what I want it to do really is sort of line up with it in some fashion. How's that looking? A couple more. I think that'll do it. Oh, it's a powder. Ah! <laughs> I have to think about this. No, because what I really want is to the... Um, I've put the station around the back of where I've put it here. That's probably going to be the best way of doing this. So, that is now around the back. Build massive monorail system! Whose great idea was this? I don't know. Right, zoom in. So how much space are we currently using here? We're a bit too close, actually. Well, that's fine. I can shift that to the left. And shift that to the left. Head down. And then we shall put in the station platform here. Up to 15 feet. Around we go. Okay. Now we just got to work out where we can fit the monorail. Because we probably can't go over the water. Which is okay. We'll go over most other things, I guess. Yeah, I figured that might be in the way. Shift that around. And down there we go. This is going to use up all of my money, actually, but we're making a profit. It's okay for now. So if I actually have this next monorail station... Actually, let's, let's experiment here. So I don't have a lot of room, but it could potentially go there. In which case, I need a bit more area to do this, don't I? Done it. Too high for supports, but... Alright, hold on. Right, if we go that way round... Fifteen. Darn it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We can make this work. It then goes around like that. It then starts heading up. Yeah, so then we can actually attach the station onto the food bit, which is what we want. Then, I'm just going to work out how, where I'm going to connect it over here. So I'll have to do something really weird, like go around the side here. Maybe have this station, the next station down here. See, we've got the money for it, actually. We're running really low on that. It's the mother of all transport rides, though. Uh, shift that to the left, but I need to do it back there. Yep, we're spending all of our money on a massive transport ride nobody will ever use. Hooray! Actually, we're nearly there, aren't we? I might have to go over it here, might I? Alright, I don't need to go too much higher than that seemingly. 20 feet is fine. Down to 15 feet. Kink that to the... Oops. Don't want to go through the scenery really if we can avoid it. There. Ah, we are going to have to though shift to 
Okay, hold on. Now we still need the special to go to the left. There. Then go tight turn. And then another one there. Right, now I just want this line up, so we need to make sure we're only about there, don't we? I suppose it's not too important for the initial bit of this, but there we go. Right, station plat nope, station platform. As long as you like. Up to fifteen feet. Nope, that's 20 feet. 15 feet. And I have... I was... thought I was. Okay. Pointless, unneat s bend then. There we go. And we are done. Hooray! We have now got a first transport ride which actually goes somewhere further than... What? 30 feet? So, now that that's all done, we need to put the mass number of entrances and exits. So, entrance for this one is going to go over there, connecting to this bit. Exit will connect there to go into that bit. The next entrance goes over here. And we'll go there, and the exit will go over... Ah, oh, damn it. Then we'll have the exit go there, because it will then join up into the um, central bit of it. Which I suppose makes sense. You want the exit to go to wherever the food is, so that's fine. We should put the entrance for this there. And we should put the exit there, which will again come across and join into the foodie bit. This is the only bit that isn't really going to join up to any major food sections, but there's a few around. There we go. There, there. And we're in. Okay. Now, next important thing to do is to make sure that we have multiple trains which are short. So that's 15 short trains. And then we're going to activate the test, I think. Now, having short trains means that they're much, much, much more likely to get around in a good speed. No, nah, actually, we need to... We need to increase the wait time. Increase the wait time to 20 seconds. Well, we'll find out actually a bit more accurately when we know how... Yeah, that's going... That's zipping around, actually. 10 seconds might be fine. If you go for a really long uh, monorail, they tend to spend ages building up any kind of speed. Here, it actually might even somehow make an exciting ride. Yeah, 20 seconds is actually then for a bit long. I thought it might not be, but we'll go 15. Oh, and it's raining again. Hooray! Well, I kind of had to wait there because I spent all my money on um, things, so therefore we had to thing. It's a thing. Um, right, this section of the park has blue entrances, so we'll go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This section of the park just has normal sort of pathing, so that's fine. We'll do that. This one... Oh dear, it's, it's a very it's a very poor day, actually, as we said. I don't know what theme I'm going to use over this forestry side of the park, and I might have to do something... Actually, a lot of these look the same, to be honest. Well, let's use this one for this section of the park, then. I can go there. Next, we need something over here. And this uses green things. And down there. Followed by some more wooden pathing. And finally, something over here. Which again uses blue things. Oh, actually, this did I say this section I thought it was going to be something different? Maybe I did. Maybe I did, but either way, we're going to stick with it for now. It's sort of an extension of the, this bit of the park, so it can work. There we go. 
Right, and I think now, nearly... Leave another train enters, and I think, yeah, for, I can cut that down to at least 12 seconds. Right, so yeah, right time then. Um, that's not so bad, actually. It'll take a while for it to calculate, because it's a bit weird doing this uh, these sorts of transport rides, but... Well, yeah, that doesn't seem too bad. We can probably actually afford to decrease the number of trains, actually, if they're going that sort of speed. Averaging about 31. So it must really be motoring at some stage of this. Well, the important thing is they're spread out nice and relatively evenly now, even if we have a ridiculous little bit going on here. <laughs> uh, I don't know though, I like it strangely. Oh dear. Well, this monorail has cost us a lot of money. Let's open her up. What are the stats here? It's actually right, rather exciting. So hooray, we have a rather exciting transport ride built. And thus, we are going to, I think, end the video here, I think. Yep, because I actually don't have any money to spend, I'm going to have to wait and build some of that back up. So, next time, we will actually continue working on the water park, like I said I would. And, yes, we now have transport rides. Appear to be slightly bugged for some reason, I don't know. Oh, we've got plenty of people on the ride, at least. Actually, that's quite a nice section of um, station build-up, so... Yeah, that'll work out for us. Hooray! So, until next time.